So today's sessions will be about how we can use a while loop to transfer a collection. So we're going into the stock manager and we look a little bit at what we did last time. In last time we did a print product details where we're using the for each loop. Now it's always a good idea to copy a little. So I'll do that. Now I'm going to make something else. I only want the first half of this list to be printed out. So I have to choose another kind of method to do this. The structure I'm going to do is uh, the while loop. And the first thing I need to know is some kind of a stop variable. So I type stop. And then I need to know uh, how many numbers are in the first half. That's approximately. I use size method is returning the number of elements. And then I just divide by 2. Now, in all while, then I start to have a while loop. So I'm going to use the index looping through. And I will let the index start in the first one. So I'll do like this. Then I have a while loop. While loop must have some kind of condition to stop on. And we will simply go in and say as long as the index is less than stop, then I'm going to do something. What I'm going to do now is that I want to get out a product and then I want to print it out. So I'm going to use a method in the array list, the stock array list here, and the method is called get, and get is operating on index, like this. And now I can just say this properly a method called to string which is going to return all data P. And now I'm more or less finished. Let's see if everything is OK. Uh, probably a few errors. <coughs> no, actually not. Nothing. So uh, this is a little bit different than the other method we had before. <coughs> this method here and this method here is doing nearly the same but this one here is traversing the whole list whereas this one is only traversing the first half but otherwise they're doing the same now there is one little thing that people tend to forget index starts at zero here but it will still be zero here. We have to do something to increase the number because otherwise we'll have make what we call an infinite loop because the index is the whole time zero. What I do is I have to increase the index number each time I go through this. a little bit nice and that is about it so two different methods doing the same the advantage of uh, this while loop here is that you can always use it for many general purposes the disadvantage is that it's super easy either to forget to initialize something or to change something inside the while loop
Voilà. Ready is all for today.